the Neptunes were listed as the greatest hip hop produced. They came in second. I, I don't. Let's know correct who, that. that. I don't like how they pigeonholed the Neptunes as the greatest hip hop producers. You don't like that? Mm-mm. Talk to me. Yeah. I mean, does they, they expand gave, beyond it? They yeah. gave Britney Spears heat. Come on, yeah. man. They've literally spearheaded Justin, Justin Timberlake's, Timberlake's career. This is true. His solo career. This is true. I mean, his clips, first single. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Without, I think because they're, I guess they're probably looking at it like, okay, their their roots are embedded in hip hop, right. but I to his the, point, the only though, reason they I have, say that, the reason why versatile. I say that is because. Honestly, I take it a certain way when people, I feel like they're always putting hip hop in, in air quotes. Okay. Yeah. It's almost like they don't really want to give them their true props as being musicians. Like hip hop's not as valuable. Exactly. So that, that's kind of how I'm taking it. Gonna, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm putting the, the Neptunes as uh, one of the greatest producer team duos in the history of music, period. Because right. they've done everything. I'm yes. not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I never thought about it like that. That's a good point. And you look at their chart positions, it is way beyond just hip hop. Yeah. And, they're and it's coming from Billboard magazine. That's that's they should another know better. reason why I'm saying that. Um and and I'm not saying anything is wrong with classifying someone as the best hip hop this or best hip hop that. Right. It's just that in my personal opinion, the Neptunes are so much more than you boxing them into hip hop. Mhm. Nope, I and, agree. And I think but I I think on the list I mean, it's kind of shocking when when you when I saw that I was like the Neptunes is hip hop. I was like everything. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know who was number one on the list, but they were the highest ranking. They came in second, but they were the highest ranking hip hop. But see, that's the, 21st, the thing. They'll the put them on that, but then when they say when they start talking about the best producers ever, yeah, they'll yeah. have them at like twenty, twenty yeah, five, thirty. Listed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I can dig that. I can dig that. I think um, if you think about it. <laughs> They've really had hit records since. There talking, hasn't been a year that has gone by since about. they came out that they didn't have a hit record. That's yet. what I'm. That's what I. That's where I was going. Are yeah. they still doing stuff together though, and releasing it as the Neptunes? Because I don't. I not like they used to. Let me. I'll look it up. But I don't I mean. Well, even for real, as a solo act. I mean, definitely for real. But yeah. like, I don't know if I've as seen it relates the Neptunes. To Chad, yeah, with Chad, uh, Chad. Hugo. When it says the Neptunes, yeah, I haven't seen the Neptunes probably since the two thousands. Yeah, but I'm I'm pretty sure Chad has had something to do with some stuff, and it's probably he's just not one that wants the the public attention. I think he's that guy. I don't I don't think he wants to, Pharrell is an artist in his own right. Like you know he sing on all the hooks, put albums out, all that type of stuff. So I mean, if you categorize Pharrell as part of the Neptunes, I can see that, mm-hmm. right? But and don't get me wrong, that that the Neptunes extremely strong in the 2000s even if i haven't heard of them in a decade yeah. but i mean so i'm looking at the neptunes on wikipedia as it relates to their production discography mm-hmm. and 2021 has money bag yo pop smokes album faith that's a posthumous album Brent Fayez, wasting time that and that's a hit i don't snow, know if y'all snow, are hip to that yeah snow allegra oh yeah yeah come on they got, um, she got. and these are listed under the neptunes this okay. is yeah yeah so uh and in 2020 you got meg, meg the stallion um who's you a hit SZA. different with ty dollar sign yeah mm. and then pharrell's joint with jay-z entrepreneur so these are all listed under the neptunes now again Just as like, a production team more so than like like what they were doing as the Neptunes. I would venture to say if you look at Pharrell, like if I pull up Pharrell's production discography, it's going to be different from what we just what we just read as them as the Neptunes, right? Because he does so many things on his own. Um but to Lone's point we were talking about uh you know we were talking about the two thousands and everything. That actually shocks me that uh, 21 they got joints like that not shocked so from a ta- talent standpoint but just the fact that to his point so you're talking about now if, if they got a song if they got joints out now right and you know they were doing stuff when bad boy was in at their you know for total yep. and mace so now you're talking about four decades tax so I mean, Pharrell was working with Teddy and if Riley. We, if we yeah. talk about Thank Teddy you. Riley, yeah, you talk about Rump Shaker, yeah, Rump Shaker. You know, and and when Boy Meets Girl off of the first uh, uh, Total record, and then Looking at Me off of the first Mace record, hey. you know, these were singles. And then when we talk about Nori, yeah, Cause, yeah, cause Nori, he laced thug. Nori. Yeah. So, come on, think about it though. 2019. I don't know if I would have 
heard or listened to Nori if it wasn't for the, the singles. Yeah. Oh, he he definitely owes. You know what I mean? Yeah, he owe he owe Pharrell a, a nice that's handshake. Why can, nah, that's it, why it really is really because Capone weekend. got locked up. That that album would not have existed if Capone hadn't went to jail. That's a fact. Um, if you look at 2019 on the flip side for Pharrell's production, you got joints on Solange's album "When I Get Home," Two Chains, Anderson Pack, Beck. Even Madonna's album. This is 2019. And Beck wins a Grammy every time he drops. I swear, Beck is dope. But yeah. there, but there's a gap between in terms of Pharrell producing. It goes from 2019 and it jumps to 2021 with a Robin Thicke record. So maybe you know, know those records that we saw, yeah. they were doing a lot of Neptune stuff. Yeah. But uh, I like what you said though, uh, Terry. Like they're definitely beyond. Um, you can't pigeonhole those Look, guys. We just we just brought up Beck. Is Beck hip hop? Not at all. And we, so when you're going from Beck to Britney Spears to Madonna, even going back to when NSYNC was to still Loon. together, to yeah, exactly. I hate, I hate, I hate. I mean, you just got to keep it. And, freaking and Lindsay Lohan, Christina him. Aguilera, Robin. Well, Marianne, and then you get to talk, I hate him. And then when you get <laughs> to the remixes, come on, Shakira. I hate him. Red um, August. Kalisa's whole catalog. Come on, that Dead Kaleidoscope Mal. album was hidden. Yeah, true. true. Dead Mao even. That's crazy. Yeah, so Monica I mean, featuring wah, 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 stop, wah, little man. baby, <laughs> little baby and dub baby are different. Oh my god! I know this is featuring Monica featuring little baby. Read trenches. the other ones, man. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so little baby is the way 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 one, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh my god! I'm learning, man. Yeah. I don't, listen, listen, man. I don't listen to babies. Listen, man. At the end of the day, <laughs> shout out to the Neptunes, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't. Do, yeah, just say hip hop. Nah. Yeah, no, don't, they've, don't, they've, they've don't done do like too that. much for too many people for yeah. you to just say hip hop. Yeah. yeah, you know, gotta right. give them producers of the decade at this point. Producers of, yeah. you know, if you well, want to talk, you want to talk about producers for the first twenty years of yeah. the two thousands. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Why not? Let's give yeah. it to them. If they ain't, if they ain't, they in there. If they not the one, they definitely in there. I mean, I, I would, I would argue Pharrell over for the real? Neptunes, but I get it. They kind of they intertwine. Yeah, but yeah. Pharrell's yeah. been way more out there than. It's just we know, like, you Kendrick's know. stuff, yeah. you know, like, all right. And, mm -hmm. you know, we don't, like, you know, because we don't know Chad. Chad yeah. is not a, he, tells he doesn't seek the, the spotlight in the same yeah. way. I'm sure right. we see his name in the credits, though. Yeah. Because yeah. he's going to get that check. I don't care. Who oh, no. Are. Oh, no. He's yeah. going to get that check. Yeah. He eating regardless. All right, man. So that, I like that, man. I'm, Terry, you, uh, you stood that in the right direction, bro. Don't disrespect. Change don't clothes. don't disrespect uh, the Neptune. I'm 100 percent with that. Don't do it. All right, man. That's <laughs> that's gonna do it for this episode. If you've enjoyed this segment of the New Old Heads podcast, make sure you join our live show every Tuesday from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern on twitchtv Heads. You can also catch playback of all of our shows on any podcast app and YouTube.com/NewOldHeadsNetwork, and go to NewOldHeads.com/Community to join our Discord.